Hello, we're here today to talk about how to join a Windows client to an Active Directory domain. Before we begin the demonstration, let's do a quick recap. Active Directory provides a centralized authentication, authorization, and policy service. It's recommended for you to have two or more DCs or domain controllers to have a highly available implementation. To join the domain, you have to make sure your Windows client has the correct IP configuration. In addition, make sure you have the correct domain name handy. And also, you need a domain account that has the appropriate rights to join the client to the domain. Let's take a quick review at the IP configuration of our lab environment. Notice all three computers are on the 182.168.1 network. Also note that all of the computers are pointing to server A for DNS. Server A is running the DNS service. This is going to be important for the Windows 10 machine. It's going to require it to use DNS to find the domain. Let's take a look at the video demonstration. All right, in this lab environment, I have two of the three machines up and running. I have my Windows 2022 domain controller, which is server A, and I also have my Windows 10 client, which is going to be joining the domain. Let's take a quick look and review the IP settings of each of these machines. On server A, as a diagram depicted, this machine is 192.168.1.1. Client 10, this IP address is 192.168.1.3. Also notice that it's pointing to the server A for DNS services at 192.168.1.1. Go ahead and take a look at how we join the domain. But before we do that, let's go to the server and let's open up the Active Directory Users and Computers Console. Notice here that I have two domain controllers, server A and server B, and I have no computers that are joined to the domain. So how do we join the domain? Well, it's very important that the IP configuration is correct. We've already seen that we have the correct IPs for our network. If you have an incorrect IP address, or if you have an incorrect DNS server client setting, you won't be able to join the domain. Matter of fact, the client won't be able to find the domain controller. In addition, you have to have the proper credentials to be able to have user rights to be able to join the computer to the domain. Let's open up control panel on this Windows 10 machine. And we're going to go to system and security. From here, we're going to click on system. And we can scroll down. Go to rename this PC. And from here, you can click on this change button. This change button allows you to rename the computer or change its domain or work group. Click change. Notice the computer is now in the work group called work group. We're going to join the domain. Our domain is called domain.local. We're going to click OK. Now, notice that I've been prompted for credentials. This is actually a very good sign. This indicates that the workstation has communicated with the domain controller, and the domain controller is requesting the appropriate user account that has rights to join this computer to the domain. We're just going to go ahead and use the domain administrator account to join the domain. I'll type in administrator at domain.local and provide the appropriate password. Now before I do that, I'm going to put in an incorrect password so you can see the error message that's displayed. I'll click OK. Notice that I got a bad username or password. This is an indication that I provided the incorrect credentials. Let's click OK. What happens if we put in the incorrect domain name? I'll just add some additional characters at the end of this .local. Let's take a look at what message we get back. Notice here, I got a different message. I got the message that the domain could not be contacted. This is a message that usually indicates that I typed in the wrong domain name or that I have an, a bad IP configuration where the client wasn't able to find the domain. Let's go ahead and put the proper credentials so we can go ahead and join the domain. I'll click OK again. This time I get prompted.
I'll put in the correct password. Okay, the domain controller accepted my credentials. I received a welcome message. It says, welcome to the domain local domain. I'll click OK. Notice that joining the domain is going to require a restart. That's OK. I'll click OK. I'll hit close. And I will restart my workstation. If we move over to server A and we look at the Active Directory uses the computer's console, let's go ahead and refresh this computer's container. Notice client 10 is now a member of this domain. Let's take a look at the login on client 10. Rather than logging in with a local account, let's click other user. I'm going to go ahead and sign into the domain. I'll just use the domain administrator account for this demonstration. This time, instead of logging in as a regular local account, I'm logging in with a domain account. Since this is the first time that I log into this machine with that account, I get a new profile. I've logged in successfully and I have a brand new profile on this machine. From here, I should be able to access domain resources. Let's give it a try. Notice I can access the domain controller through File Explorer. Everything seems to be working just fine. Well, this concludes this video tutorial on how to join a computer to the domain. Please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment below. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you again.